welcome back to Overdrive. Now, if you remember, for our 200th episode, we had headed to the hills with three SUVs and we gave them a thorough workout in the snow. Now, the one clear story that shown was the one that we shot in Delousey with the Mercedes GL Class SUV. Without the advantage of snow chains, it still managed to impress the Overdrive team immensely, but yet it felt like it lacked something. Now, to get a sense of completeness, the Overdrive team decided to take the GL to Marsimikla. It's one of the highest passes in India that you can drive to, higher than even the formidable Kardungla. In an environment that would not require snow chains, just how good will the GL turn out to be? And because it can be pretty lonely at the top, we decided to take along another star that's made this journey once before to be the friend and guide, the new M-Class. So here's Ashok's adventures in the snow. Welcome to Pangyong So Lake. What are we doing here? We're taking these two SUVs up to Marsimikla to see what they can really do. This here is a GL350 CDI. Well, we had a lot of fun in it the last time we took it up to Dalhousie. We splashed around in the snow a little bit and it, was, it proved itself worthy of his name as a true blue off-roader. And this, the ML350 CDI, is an all-new car. We haven't put it through spaces in such terrain yet, so we just want to find out if this baby can hold up to its name. Let's see what these two can really do. But before we start on our journey, let's take a closer look at the two SUVs, the ML350 CDI and the older GL350 CDI. The ML we have is the latest to hit the market and with its new signature Merc front, it makes an aggressive statement. The rear too has been given a complete makeover. The SUV is now wider and lower in stance and is also much more spacious inside. The GL is still the first generation car but is due for an upgrade very soon. It is built on an extended M-Class chassis and like the previous Gen ML, follows the old school SUV design with its massive dimensions. All new ML. It's a third generation car and it uses the same 3 litre V6 that the older generation car did. But right now it makes 260 PS and 620 Newton meters of torque. The last time we took this car up to Marsimikla, we were very impressed with its performance. And this time we expect no less from it. Unlike the GL, the ML lacks a low ratio option. Normally, we would be worried about this considering the train we're in, but not with this car. The four-wheel drive and the airmatic suspension together make mincemeat of all kinds of terrain. Whatever Ladakh has thrown at us this far, the MLs win it across without so much as a twitch. Marsi Mikla is one of the highest passes in the country and perhaps even the world. Now, it stands at over 5,600 meters in height and the roads leading there, well, what roads? There are actually no roads leading there because the army is still constructing them. Now, this means that majority of the trail is off-road. And to make it up to Masimikla, you need a properly capable four-wheel drive SUV. Let's just hope these two make it up there. The first thing you notice when you get into the GL after driving the ML is the heavier steering where the ML has a progressive steering feel that is light at low speeds and get heavier as you go faster, the GL's steering wheel feels much stiffer, especially at low speeds. And of course, there is also that distinct feeling of close to three tons being hauled around the road that is especially evident when you're cornering or braking. Now, the GL350 CDI uses a 3-litre turbocharged V6 diesel engine that makes 224 PS and 510 newton meters of torque. Now, in this kind of terrain, that kind of power comes in handy quite a bit, especially considering oxygen is quite low and cars start experiencing quite a bit of turbo lag. In fact, just to make it around these hairpins, I'm having to downshift the car into first gear just so that it climbs up the incline. 
both these cars are extremely capable off-roaders. But then, there is one thing that we are always worried about, punctures. Especially on the surfaces we are driving on, the chances of getting punctures are very high. You always have to be on your toes looking out for sharp stones, nails or anything else that might cause problems. This is apart from having to be on the watch for boulders that might damage your sump. We finally made it. We are standing here on top of Marsimikla Pass and according to our GPS, we are a total of 5,620 meters above sea level. Well, that's quite an achievement. And as for the cars, they made it without a problem. Of course, we had a few punctures to deal with here and there, but on the larger scale of things, I don't think I would have chosen any other two cars to do this trip with than these.